nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello. Let's play some pool. So it is in the middle of the night, so very dark outside, but very bright in my room because I have so much lighting. So when you, if you want to become a good pool, pool player, you want to play pool at all times of the day and at night. So many players, uh, I see many players, they only play good in the evening, because they normally play in the evening. They never play in the morning. And when are tournaments? They are in the morning. And they play very bad in the mornings, because they are not used to it. They haven't played in mornings when they practiced. They always played in the evenings. And very often, very good players, they lose in the beginning of the tournament because they play in the morning but if they come uh, to the later stages in the tournament to the evening they play very good because they are used to playing in the evenings and there has been tournaments that have uh, ended uh, after midnight you are very tired very tired you can't keep your eyes open but you don't know how to how to win the tournament if you have never played in the middle of the night. So I recommend you want to stay until the pool hall closes. Get very, very tired. You can't keep your eyes open, but you still try to, to practice. And that is what makes you uh, improve your odds of winning a tournament. Mm -hmm. So I was in a tournament. Uh, it, was, it was an eight ball tournament, my first eight ball tournament. I got to the semi-final. I was really tired. I couldn't keep my eyes open and so I, I lost the tournament because of that reason. Just because I was too tired. I just couldn't keep on going. Uh, so it was uh, very late and I was just not used to playing for so long. Just keeping, just concentrating for so long. So always uh, try to practice at different times just to try to try to practice in the morning at night just wake up in the middle of the night and play pool go to the, in the morning during the day all all times of the day you want to practice at all times of the day even if you are you are very hungry you are very tired and just uh, go to the pool table and, and just practice. No matter what happens, if there's an earthquake, just play pool. Just play pool if, if the earthquake is not, not too bad, just something very mild. Just keep on playing. And if there's a storm outside, uh, just keep playing, okay? Just try not to get bothered by the external noises. So let's, let's start again. So what, what do we have here? We have a long shot on the one ball, a tough shot for the two ball. And in a tournament maybe your, your opponent will uh, have his girlfriend with him with him and uh, his girlfriend his girlfriend is looking at you you get very bothered by that so that's something you, you need to practice by going to the pool hall and uh, you need to be in those situations so you know how to handle them because if you haven't handled those situations before uh, you will lose the game you need to know how to handle everything earthquake Snowstorm, a uh, window opening up, and there is, there's a snow blowing, blowing on you from the window. You need to handle all, all those situations. 
and you need, you need to be able to focus on the game, no matter what happens. If, if, if the referee doesn't stop the game, just keep on going. So you need to focus and just keep on going until the referee stops the game. If there's an earthquake or a snowstorm or anything, a water leak, the roof is leaking water and the water is dripping on the cloth, just, just keep on going. Just keep on going. So I want to be somewhere here on, on the two ball at a very tight, very tight uh, angle. I don't have a choice. I need to go for it. I don't have a choice here. I need to fix my mask a little bit. I need to tighten. Got to, got to tighten my mask a little bit. Uh, you, you want to have a hood if the tournament referee, referee allows you have a hood on. It will block uh, the light from, from the side. And if there's a woman, if there's a woman, if there's a woman, a woman flirting with you, you can see her because of the hood. Just another reason why you should wear a mask and a hood in a pool tournament. The women can't flirt with you if you have a mask on. Oh, I'm snooker behind the six ball. That was a tough shot for the two ball. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a safety here. I don't have a choice. Make a massage shot with the two ball on the right side. Hopefully the two ball will go here behind the seven without double hitting the two ball. So let's see what will happen. Uh, I hit the six ball. I hit the six ball. I wanted to hit the, the two ball fuller, so that was a normal mistake you do that you end up hitting the ball in front of the other ball if you want to hit the, that ball fuller. So I'm going to make another mistake shot, try to hit the hit it thinner than last shot. Something like that, and that's a good safety. That's a good safety right there. Now the opponent is snookered behind the four ball. The opponent needs to make a kick shot, two rails kick shot. Uh, if he makes a one, if I make a one rail kick shot like that, I might scratch in the corner. That's a bad, very bad idea. So, uh, I would r rather make a two rail kick shot, cut the two ball, and if I miss the two ball, I must leave him uh, a snooker. Maybe the two ball will come, come this way, get stuck behind the three ball. So I will do that. Let's see what happened. Oh, you see, you saw how close the cue ball was to the two ball. That was really close. Make it again. Yeah, I think I need to, I need to fix my, my mask because I can see with my right eye. Actually, my ears are stuck. My ears, look at, look at my left ear. My left ear is stuck, so that's why I missed. Got to keep those ears free. There you go, much better. You see, my ears are free now, so it is better. Let's continue. Kick shot. Ooh, now I can, I can see much better now with my eyes. Yeah, yeah, there's a safety. I hit it straight on. 
opponent doesn't have an easy shot now, the eight ball is blocking the two ball, the, the opponent needs to make a safety here. Okay, what kind of safety can we find here? Actually now it is a, you have a golden opportunity to make the ten ball and get away with it. Because when this, this combination, two ball hits the ten ball, okay, if the ten ball doesn't go in, two ball will start somewhere here and two ball will go over here to leave the opponent uh, a snooker behind this ball, okay. Let, let me do that. Yeah, you see, safety. That's a safety right there. The six ball is flagging the two ball. And at the same time, uh, I had the chance to make a ten ball, okay. Very tough shot, but it was there. But I was uh, shooting to make a safety. Two ball coming here. Two balls tapping somewhere in that area, and that's a safety. And that that is a, those are the shots you need to go for. I went for the eight, for the ten ball to win the game, but uh, it was a very low chance to make it. But I was focusing on making a safety here. Now I can make a safety here, a kick safety. Uh, I hit the cue ball there. Cue ball hit the two, hits the two ball. The two ball goes over here somewhere and the cue ball will maybe start somewhere here, okay? And there's a chance to make a two ball in the corner. So I'll go for the two ball in the corner and at the same time, play for a safety. Something like that. Yeah, you see, I made the two ball over here. If I had missed the two ball, the, op the opponent would be snooker behind the three ball. So that's a good uh, strategy, strategy shot that you can go for some shots and get away with them if you miss. And that's the that's whole point of my training for you, that you can go for those shots and win the game. And if you miss the shots, you still win the game. That's a win-win, win-win strategy. Now I need to draw back the cue ball past the six ball. Very dangerous to draw it too short and get uh, the six in the way of the four. So I need to draw back maybe somewhere here, okay? It is, it is better to be here than to be there. So I will aim to start the cue ball somewhere in this area, okay? No! Look at that! You saw that what happened there. I came too, way too short. So what should I do instead here? If you don't have good drawing skill, you need to draw back extra long. You need to draw back extra long further than uh, further than here. Because I attempted to start the cue ball here, I got too short, I got snooker behind the six. So I need to draw even further, maybe hit the rail here, and hit the five there. Just to be certain, I will, I will not get stuck behind the six ball. So I will draw harder, like that. And at the same time, I push the five closer to the side pocket to make it easier. So now I just make the four ball in the side pocket, shoot soft, like that, don't go, 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 go behind the six. Yeah. Ah, you see that? An another snooker. So have you learned something? What, uh, what, how can I uh, do it differently? Okay. I, again, I'm snooker behind the six. So what can I do differently on that shot? Did you learn something? from my previous shot where I got snooker behind the six ball. So here I to, to make this shot possible I need to shoot very soft to get position for the five ball. But I shot it a little too hard, got stuck here behind the six ball. How can I do it in another way, a safer way? It is by going extra long 
Take the rail there, 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 and then come out into the open. And not, not be afraid to get behind the six ball. So I, I, I will go on purpose uh, around like this for the five ball. And I miss the, I miss the four ball. I will, you need to concentrate on making the four ball instead of the position play. Now I went, yeah, I didn't mean to hit the seven, but you see, I, there's no risk of getting a snooker behind, behind any box. I can make the five in the, in the side pocket, but uh, I'll show it again. I will show it again. I will go around the table for the five ball, just to try to avoid behind the sixth ball. That is that's much better choice than to make a soft shot on the four and accidentally go too far and get behind the sixth ball. Much better to be there. And now I can make the five, okay? I can make the five and I, I can get the six, uh, I can make the six in the side pocket if I stuck the two ball somewhere in that area. So I will go there. And I miss the shot. Uh, but the opponent has a tough shot here. I will do it again. I'm really tired now. This is very good practice for me. I have been awake a long time. But very good practice. I will do it again. Now I have position on the six in the side pocket. Now comes a tough shot. I went a little too far. I want I wanted the cube to start somewhere there for the six. So there's an uh, I can make a bad shot in, in this side pocket. The position plays very easy if I do that. And if I make it in the side pocket over there, I need to go around this ball some some way, and I might mess up on the position play. If I do that, it's a very difficult position shot to go with. We go this way. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. Let's see if I have any skill right now. I don't have any skill right now. Really tired. Really tired right now. I will show you the bank shot. It's uh, much, much easier to think. Just, just need to make a bank shot. And I have automatic position on, on the third ball. That was very close. But there, there are two ways you can play this shot. I'm going to show you making it in the side pocket again. To try to play position. position. Now you see how difficult it is to control the keyboard between those balls. Very difficult. I will do it again. I miss every shot right now. Miss, I, I, I actually, I was better at the kick shot to make the kick shot here than to make, a, make an easy shot into the side pocket. I will do the, let's, let, let me chop the cue. Yeah, there, you go around those balls right there. And uh, let me do it again. Let me show you the, the bank shot. You can eat much easier position with the bank shot. Uh, almost, almost. But you see the position I get on the seven. It is automatic position. You just need to focus on making the bank shot. But if you, if you make a cut shot into the side pocket, you need to make a tough, tough cut shot plus control the cue ball around the table. So I'll do it again. There you go. Very, very difficult to control. And you still have a long shot on the, on the seven after. So 
I like the bank shot the most because you get automatic position on the seven. You just just need to make the bank shot. Okay, you just need to make the bank shot and then you have good good position on on the seven. Let's do it again. You need to practice these shots. Practice these shots. And then you can make them more consistently. Oh, you see, I hit the point there again, like uh, like last time I, I tried it. When I almost made it. Let me do the bank shot again. There you go, that's perfect. And you get perfect position on the seven ball. Just you, you just need to make the back shot and you always have good position on the seven. There you go. Now I'm getting the hang of this bank shot right now. Let me do it again, this bank shot. There you go, every time. Okay, so you get good position on the set every time if you make the bank shot. So you can, it depends on what you are comfortable with. If you can control the keyboard around, around the balls or if you are better at the bank shot. So let's continue this rack. Now you see that the, I, have, I have a long shot on the seven and I don't like that. Very difficult shot. I just need to make a, I need to make a stop shot. I don't have a, another choice. I need to make a stop shot. And you see that, you see here that the, the best choice was to make the bank shot in the side pocket because now, now I have a really tough shot here. Really tough shot. This is about to maybe 10% chance to make. And if I had selected the bank shot, I would have been closer to the 7. I could have easily controlled the cue ball for the 8 ball. But now, because I was so far away from the 7, I, the, the only choice I had was a long uh, stop shot. And now I'm stuck to this rail. I have a long shot on the 8. Very difficult to get to the 9 ball. So I would have preferred to choose the, the bank shot earlier. Much better choice to make the bank shot. So I will do that again. This time, instead of cutting it into the side pocket, I will make the bank shot. I have much better position on the on the seven. It is tough, tougher to make the bank shot, but position play is very easy after you make it. So it is like uh, this bank shot is like the winning shot of the game. And that was the winning shot of the game, the bank shot. And now everything becomes easy. Just, just need to finish this rack. Uh, there are two ways you can play it, but with one way you use top spin, come this way, or use a draw shot, come up this way. I will use a draw shot, low right spin. And you get good position on the eight ball. That is okay, a little too far, but it is okay. And now I want to get somewhere uh, in this position for the nine. I, I hit the rail there, there, and come out a little bit, stop somewhere there. Okay, top right spin. Yeah, and I missed a shot. Missed it. I can't believe how much I'm missing right now. Let me do it again. There we go, I come out a little bit from the rail, perfect. And the knife is frozen to the rail, so... This is a good, comfortable uh, place to drop the cue. If, if you would have this kind of shot, you would need to, you would need to reach, and the, the shot would have been much tougher. But now you can go around the table. With top, left spin, Hit the rail there, 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 and here, or maybe go a little further. There, 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 and there, and then out again. So you need to shoot harder 
to go this way with the keyboard. But the line is so close to the pocket, so you can do it anyway. Let me try how it goes. Top left spin, like that. And come out again from the rail, and we have a shot on the 10. And the game is over. And let, let me show you the same shot uh, when shooting softer. Uh, how difficult it is to control. If, if you go this way, try to start with speed in front of the tent. Let's see how tough the shot is there. With, you need to control with speed. Uh, it is much tougher, you see. Yeah, I messed up already. I messed up the shot already because I, I try to control with speed. Uh, ne never attempt to control with speed. Always try to go into the angle of the shot. You need to look at the angles. And uh, with the angles, uh, uh, if you go one, two, three, four rails and come here with the keyboard, you, you need to control the, control the speed very good to start it here. But if you go further, here, 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 you have a bigger area to start in with the keyboard. So I'm going to do it again and show you uh, that it is possible that you can go this way. You can go this way with the keyboard. Okay, top left spin and shoot hard. Like that. Now I did not need to hit the 10 there. Let's do that again. And we, we will take the 9 ball here again. And uh, how was that? Uh, uh, I think it was something like, was it something like this maybe? Yeah? Because you can, uh, if the if the tenor was over here, then you can just go soft. I have good, you already have good position on the tempo like this, okay? But how was the? It was like this. I'm really tired now. Really hard to think when you're tired. Let's see how it was. Yeah, it then was further down like, like that. Yeah, further down like that, and you you further away also. So you can't go. You can't uh, go this way with the keyboard. You have a cut shot on the ten. Something like this, yeah? And further away. I think it was something like that, okay? So you need to go to, to the tempo here. And normally, people, people normally go uh, one rail, two rails, three rails, four rails, and come with speed over here. Sometimes they come too short, sometimes they go too long. They are part sharp on the tent. So you want to go a little further, Come up out, come out from the rail here. Stop somewhere here, and I will show you show you that shot. Top left spin like that with speed, and hit the yeah. Sometimes you hit the ten on the way down, and that is okay. That is okay. Let me do it again. Try to hit, hit this way and come out again. And that's the perfect shot that you can do. There, there, hit the rail here and come out again. That is perfect. Because if you, uh, if you go too short, you, you, you attempt to get this kind of shot and start somewhere here. But if you come too short, you will start here. And if you go too long, you might start here, and you, you, you can't make the 10 in the corner. But if you attempt to go further, that you hit the rail here and come out again, you have a very big area to start the cue ball in. Okay? So that is a, that is a strategy. That, that is a strategy you can use if you're very tired, and you can win, win the tournament even if you're exhausted.
okay okay so this is the end of the video until next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool